Good day everyone again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here I am actually in the garden. I actually look a little bit exhausted but I still manage because that's what I am actually, that's my job. So today I'm actually checking my ship. Um, if you can see her, she's actually really really round. Um, she may be dropping anytime in the next month or two. So. I actually given her the best treatment. I want to give her enough food. I want to give her enough eating. So I actually had this piece up here. Um, got a few provisions in it, but I want to actually focus more on my spice tree. Okay. So as you can see, this spice tree here is a spice tree which I had cut it down when I just started because it was actually thin. So I had to do some removal. But now the removal is actually paying off. There is another one. There is another one higher up there, right over that space there. There is another big tree right here coming up. Um, I have one or two spices between there with my breadfruit trees. So I want to save the spices as much as possible. come to check on her make sure that she's okay and make sure that she has enough to eat because the pregnancy stage you're gonna eat a lot um, so you tend to want to have a lot of appetite and then to help develop faster um, looking for reproduction looking for a herd so I have to work with whatsoever she wants so I am actually the one to actually bring her to the field to get the treatment she deserves so that she can actually be nourished enough to continue the space and later in life I never know I may get very very good species out of her because actually before I started I can say I didn't even have a ram to actually do the process I didn't have a ram that I owned but I've got it a quick little you know fertilization of eggs within my uncle period because he had actually had his birthday party and he decided that he was going to get rid of his ram and same time she was actually in the heat she had left the land she went I went looking for her and then I found her but she was actually tied up with a female so I was looked unlucky until when I passed back to go by to my home passed by my uncle home then she started running to the ram so I leave her to actually take the service and I actually told him not nice I find to me that my animal should take herself to the home and she didn't do so. I gave him the, the heads up that you know and actually here she is. Um, the more I feed her the more she's gonna get more bigger and she had actually dropped two already because I bought her big and let's hopefully not show if she's gonna drop three this time. If possible, I'm going to be very, very grateful. If it's two, I'm going to be very grateful also. If it's one, I'm still going to be very grateful. So, even if it's a male, uh, most persons tell me I may get two. I even have my hopes up for two. So, actually, uh, that's why I'm giving her so much of caring because I actually want two. I don't sure what I'm going to get, but hopefully, I'm going to get two. So, actually, I'm into the big of the garden. I had some clothes here which I actually had picked in but I had stopped so I have to continue and also as I said I'm actually reforming up the line so I will be working up here soon but I'm actually starting over the line which I actually cut to the bottom side of the garden and I did the pre forking for potato slips, but actually the rain has not yet come in. But as I said, the rain arriving, I'm still having it in my mind and I want to go there. It could be tomorrow, please the Lord. I want to go start checking it out, make sure I can get it to water source and I can drive it all the way back to the garden. Okay. Even if I get it here and it stops right, right there, right by the big tree go back over across to the street and go back to the stream I'm gonna be grateful also okay 
that is going to be way off on top of the land and I'm going to see what I can do to get it up to the top but I believe I'm going to leave up here for more bigger trees like spice um, I may get a few other things like cloves I may keep a few of the bigger trees in here so that they can actually get from up there coming down sorry coming down and it won't be a problem much for me so so far so good I actually is given my planting segment so from the mango to my nutmeg tree I have a big very wide space there um, you can see if I actually bring it up that's a big white space there. I want to actually fill that place up with only plantains, strictly plantains. Because on this side, we are actually cleaned up. It's only fig, and the fig stopped all the way up there. So, provisions on one side, which is actually the fig. And all my plantains are going to be on one side. And right to the bottom of the line, I want to put my potato slips. And on the top of the garden here, I want to do my spice. Okay? spice and any other big trees which actually can be beneficial later in life so in the garden i also want to do a set back kind of for emergency money making crop it may not be a crop it may be a long-term investment as i start with my animals but actually i'm looking for something that i can have up here for in case of any you know something may happen and I'm in need of money and actually want to grow something or do something big um, it's not coming into my mind right now because it actually has a lot in my mind so maybe later on I may think about doing something like this and then out of nowhere I can remember my spices and then I can actually just come take a two days take them off make a sale get that money and actually see after that so that's how I actually do my businesses. I actually do it like one in, one out, emergency, and backup. So even though persons may say emergency and backup is the same thing, but to me it's like totally different. Because the emergency business, which I'm going to be doing, it's going to be a business that actually requires much more, much, much more amount of money than my backup business. Okay? So... I have to give all you guys um, another video where I actually just finished off my poultry. I'm gonna give you all a video with my poultry, show you all that I finished, and I'm looking to buy my birds from the next week as well. So I have tomorrow to set up my system, and my fooding system, my storage system, and then from then get my lights, get everything all intact, and then from the next week as well. I have tanias. I'm uh, looking to get my potatoes, as I said. It's not actually working out for my crop dry season. But sooner or later, I believe I'm going to get a spot here where I am going to be able to get water there. Okay? I'm a very, very, very um, smart, smart fella. I really think, I really sit and think, I really take the time off. time to go outside, sit, think about my garden, think about what I'm missing, the main thing I'm missing there, uh, how can I actually get it, and when I actually get the right vibe, then I say, okay, that's it, right, and then bloom, and I actually have it done, so that's, that's my motive, and I believe later in life, I had a plan where I'm going to bring up some food tanks, in here, I'm going to make it back some lines, and I'm going to um, run some drip systems, okay, so 
so I believe that's gonna be the motive for here if I haven't found that piece of water source because with this piece of water source over there I don't mind how the flow will actually come if the flow actually comes like sip 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 um, it's maybe basically about mm, how should I say half an inch of water that could be sus sustainable for me and efficient for me I don't really need a big long kitchen of water even though the trash is really dry but actually as long as I get a little piece of water that's going to take its time and soak 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 down into the ground then I'm actually comfortable with this so as I said I have a lot of responsibilities right now I have animals to see after I going into the livestock business on a, on a whole animals plus birds um, I'm actually into the long-term crops plantains pigs and then I actually finished my nursery so I'm gonna show you all also a little tour of the nursery I just gotta put my poop bag and start building my stands I start sowing my seeds again and I'm gonna be running my nursery on small scale because by me we're doing a small vegetation and it's running really well I did some short videos where actually I've showed you my cucumbers I'm gonna do some shots where we are doing our pumpkins and our tomatoes so as I continue going in the field as I continue actually getting things done into the field I am gonna show you all all the strategy I'm using because right about now I'm at age of 24 and I'm looking to not make 25 years sick me having to come into the garden so I want to get all my plants down I want to put all my vegetation on the ground I want to do all my job from now until August and after this my birthday I can just focus on planting and getting ready for harvest so it's a short month it's a short space um, I got limited time but as I'm continuing going, I'm going to use my day wisely so that I don't miss off on any time and actually continue going the road I actually supposed to go. So that's it for all today. And as I actually pull up the spots with the plantings, start getting the water for them, I'm going to show you how the, the land is actually changing bit by bit. I'm going to try my best to do a video every day to show you all every time I visit the farm how it is. And as you continue following under my channel, you're going to see how it's changed then to be and boom I guess as much I'm gonna get it the way exactly I want it to be so what I'm gonna be doing right now I'm gonna be going and change her she is actually I don't love her on the heel right there but she's eating plenty good um, I don't much change her but actually I'm gonna change her because I want her eating fresh food every day okay because I want healthy babies from whatsoever she's actually going to be given so for now sorry to say i have to actually cut the video so see you all next time